grade math teacher at Hayhira Middle School, and so I can um, we can speak afterwards about some of those things. But that it is going on. We are adopting Common Core right now. We're, we're doing it right now. Um, but I am using this PowerPoint that I saw in, at um, the Page Summer Conference because I felt like it spelled it out very well. Um, the vote is November the sixth. Um, this was interesting to me. The background is in two, last year the Georgia Supreme Court struck down a bill, um, actually it was a, a law that said that states could implement charter schools and against local um, approval. They struck it down because they said local communities should be the ones that decide if there's a local charter, charter school in their area. That way the local board runs it. Uh, they said it was unconstitutional, so they struck it down. Uh, it's not fair to take uh, local funds away from you, send it to the state where states can run the charter school in your community. Uh, we believe this, uh, the Page Association believes that the court was right, and so do I. However, the supporters of that bill, of course, want it back on, they want the Georgia Constitution rewritten so that we can do that. So that's why these bills are on our ballot right now, and this is the way it's worded. Shall the Constitution of Georgia be amended to allow state or local approval of public charter schools upon the request of local communities? Of course, it sounds very good that we should say yes. It's very misleading. And the reason why it is misleading is totally purposeful. Um, it says something about local communities. We already have that right in the lo our local community, our local boards, to go ahead and implement a charter school if we see the need. However, they put it in there so that voters that don't really know what's going on think they're helping our local schools by voting yes. However, by voting yes, it will be funding a parallel state school system that we have no control over. They actually did poll tested that ballot question. So, and Georgia is one of the few states that we cannot um, allow, we cannot challenge the clarity of the question. So it's on our ballot. That that method. We have tried, there's been several lobbyists that have tried to get it um, reworded. And we already have charter schools, and Lowndes County could get a charter school if we want, want it. However, this would be a charter school that would be run by state bureaucrats in Atlanta. There are deaf and blind charter schools, all kinds of charter schools. Of course, the, they, they give, give it a, a specific formula about how it will be funded, they just don't tell you where the money is coming from. As you know, we've already had a lot of budget cuts in our area, furlough days, shorter <coughs> school years, teacher layoffs, larger class sizes, and some of these graphs show all of that. This is what's, the main thing I want you to hear is that if we already cannot afford the schools that we have, then why would we want to create a whole parallel school system when we can't even afford the ones that we have. Why would we want to create more schools? And it would take money away from our local schools in order to create those schools. Um, and these are the things that would be affected. Class size, teacher pay, teacher contracts, and um, there are some reason, people that support it. But the main thing I just wanted to point out were these things. Your tax dollars would be going to the state in order to create these public schools. We would have no control over how those local schools, charter schools, would be um, operated. And just like you said, we couldn't call anybody up at our local school board and say, I do, do not like how things are being run. Um, question, can a local school board now create a charter yes, school? Yes, we sure can. What would keep them from doing that? that? Nothing, I mean, it would just be a parent board Right now, the ones that they want would be run by for-profit charter school. A lot of it is money. If you look at who supports it and their campaign, oh my goodness, there's millions and millions of dollars in their campaign, whereas the vote no one is just a tiny little section. Yes, we can have charter schools right now today. It will just go through the local school board to do so. This would be a state charter school in our local community that we would have absolutely that's what the vote is for. And I had no idea I'm until I really You're started. saying they're going to be state schools. Yes. But they could be a local school, right? It will be in your local community, but I it's know, run but by the my state. school board do one? They can do one now. But that's not a state-run school. No. Okay. 
But that's what, the, that's what we're voting about. Yeah, they want it to be. Yeah, they want it to say that the state can do all of those. Which is why it's unnecessary. Yes, sir? I would imagine most teachers don't like charter schools because they're non union. Well, we don't have a union in Georgia. I mean, we're not unionized. I'm in a professional association, but it's not like the Chicago strike you see. We don't have. This bill is just on the Georgia ballot. Yes, this. I'm talking about unions. Every state is different as far as unions. But most teachers don't. I mean, a charter school, like our school board, we had a meeting last week, two weeks ago. Basically, yeah, they would, we have to teach anybody who comes through our doors. Charter schools are not like that. They can get the cream of the crop out of all the schools, you know, and leave the public schools with the, what they want. So, of course, their test scores might be higher. And there's been research about charter schools. Last year in Georgia, um, the charter scores, schools scored 3% lower than traditional public schools. So, it's not, the proponents of this bill say charter schools are so much better and they score so much better, but that's just not true. Yes, sir? If this amendment passes, would the local community still be able to have charter schools in addition to the state charter school? They still would be able to, yes, sir. If they can find the money. That's for right. We can't up. even afford to. We just got a memo about how much paper we used the first month of school, which, of course, we have to make a lot of copies because we don't have materials for the Common Core. So uh, how can we not run a lot of copies? When? Yes, sir. Uh, in one of the problems with this amendment, Schools that are not accountable to anybody who knows it. You would have a, exactly. a state run um, charter school exactly. as, as parents and taxpayers. We would have no say so. Exactly, but your money would be used. Our money would be used. Right. We'd use our tax dollars, but we'd have absolutely That's exactly no say right. so. We'd have no elected officials complaining to. Right. For fact, the people that are running, that will be running these charter schools for the state of Georgia will actually be private corporations. Exactly. So uh, unless we want to buy stock in that corporation, we have absolutely no say so. And that's why there's so much money in. behind this. Initiative, but yet those corporations aren't getting money, are they? On tax, not <laughs> right, exactly. So that's why our public education would be hurt so much if this gets approved. There will be even more money coming out of our local economy. Yes, ma'am. Christine, one of the school systems that wants to come into Georgia, in fact, there's already three here in Georgia. There's over a hundred in the nation are run by. Right. Either on, it will not be a It will be your local school board, yes. 